Hey everybody, I'm officially back home. <laughs> I forgot I was going to a wedding and trying to make this video while also talking with family and hotel hopping was not the best. And trying to draw in the car is never a good idea. <laughs> but I was finally able to get everything together. Yay! <laughs> uh, anyway, just like in the last video, I'd like to talk about some of the issues I have with Rose. Mostly her 3D model since just like Luca, she has a very weird model design, though it's mainly her eyes. They're way too big. <laughs> like, yeah, everybody has big eyes, it's the style of the show, but Rose has two times the regular size of the cast. And thank god her screen time is very limited because all those wide eye stares she does freaks me out. I mean, I get why the creative team did it, it's to show like more innocence in her character, but they honestly really didn't have to, because now, thanks to her having such big eyes, her head is crazy big too. Like, the shape and size of it is way bigger than the other models. Like, trust me, if you go back and rewatch some episodes, you can see it. <laughs> also, side note, uh, I may go harder on Rose due to not really liking her character. I've never been a fan of the nice character type. Like, don't get me wrong, they're fine. But for me, I don't believe in people being 100% nice or good. I like a good 50-50 or maybe 60-40, but Rose is so sickly sweet and nice and she's just drenched in pink, it makes me physically ill. <laughs> there were probably only two times I liked her. One, when she was akumatized. Love this design, by the way. It's so perfect. And two, when we found out she has a chronic illness, which I kind of already suspected she did, mostly due to her design and the way she spoke about stuff, but, but that was all I really could like about her. I mean, even her French and English voice actresses drive me crazy. Like, like their pitch is crazy high and it hurts my ears. I'm extremely sensitive to sound, so if I don't like a character's voice, I won't watch the show as much. Uh, or like, if they were a main character, no, I wouldn't watch at all. But if they're like a background character, I can tolerate it. But that might be the reason why I stopped watching Miraculous Ladybug as well, since when my Netflix account was sadly taken away from me, I had to watch the English dub, and I just couldn't do it because Marinette just... Her voice drove me crazy and I couldn't do it. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have for Rose. Her 3D model is fine, other than her eyes. It's just, it's too much. <laughs> her personality would feel, would feel more natural if they toned her down a bit. But overall, she's a fine character and I can see why people like her so much. But as for her designs, well... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Rose's outfit just screams early 2000s fashion. Anyone who lived through it knows what I'm talking about, and if not, and if not, here's what everyone looked like. <laughs> Heck, even Disney did the over-the-top, over-layered look, <laughs> and Rose seems to be doing the pink punk look, since on the back of her striped shirt, there's a pair of silver angel wings that's just bringing back bad fashion memories. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, what were the Miraculous Ladybug team even thinking? Rose has five different shades of pink on her, on her. Her skirt is not even cute or matching to whatever the top she's wearing. And her belt, she doesn't even need it. If her shirt was tucked into her skirt, then yeah, she could wear a belt. But it would have to be a bit bigger than that spaghetti string thing she's got. I mean, Rose's concept art looks way better than her final other than her hair. It looks more superhero style or or more of a akumatized style, you know? But the one thing I just can't stand is Rose's gladiator sandals. Like, Miss Ma'am, no, those don't go at all. Like, I can't with this show sometimes. <laughs> Ugh. But moving on, for Rose's civilian design, I decided to completely drop the shirt and skirt look. Because for one, it's too busy and not princessy enough. 
From what I've learned about Rose, she's very into romance and fairy tales, and she's very childlike, so when designing her dress, I kept that all in mind by adding frilly lace and a fluffy underskirt to her dress. I changed her hot pink to a softer pastel pink, so it's not so harsh on the eyes, and gives a more romantic feel. Uh, I also gave her a bit of an undershirt look. Since she is still relatively young, but with the off the shoulder, it would be easier to reach her port. I know it's never been said that Rose has cancer, but it's pretty heavily implied, and I kind of wish they would have just said it instead of making it so vague. As someone with, fa with family and friends who have gone through it, I would have loved to just hear the word out loud, you know? But I'm tired of it being, you know... She has a mysterious illness or she, you know, stuff like that. I'm so tired of it. I really wish people would just say it. You're, it doesn't hurt anyone's feelings to just say it. And you know what? It would actually help a lot more people to, you know, I would, I would love to explain this more, but I really don't want to cry. But, you know, it's important to just say it. Don't just, like, tiptoe around the issue. Just come out and say it. You would make, like, so many people's day just to, you know, have themselves be included into something like this. And I feel like Miraculous Ladybug could have done that, but, you know, they love to just tiptoe around everything. But anyway, uh, for the last two things for Rose's outfit, I ditched the stripes since they weren't doing anything for her and changed them into a polka dot pattern that fades down, which gives it a more sparkly appearance. And her shoes, I changed into closed platforms with a bow back. They're actually based on a pair of shoes I used to wear as a kid. <laughs> so, fun little nod to that. Uh, as for Rose's hair and face, I didn't change much other than make her hair a bit shorter and more wavy. And gave her hair barrettes since I felt she needed more accessories. Uh, I did play with the idea of giving her freckles, but I imagine she's not outside enough to get them you know, from being in the hospital from childhood to now. Overall, I think I did pretty okay with, you know, trying to make an outfit that represents her personality and the things, and the things she likes. So let me know what y'all think, because I've been second-guessing second myself through this entire process. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, on to Pig Gala. God, I hate that name. <laughs> Okay, I know this seems mean, but I have to say it. Rose's hero suit sucks. There, I said it. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Why does it look like something I'd see in a Candyland ripoff? What was the thought process? I really want to know, because where is the pig elements? There's, like, nothing. Nothing about this screams pig. And I get it's hard to design stuff off of animals, pigs especially, they're one color, their ears are similar to dogs, but come on, the tail is the signature look, and it's not there. <laughs> and don't tell me the tail is on her chest, because that's hella dumb. <laughs> What's kind of sad about this is I've actually met the person who made this hero suit, and she's amazing, and I love her work, but you can tell costumes aren't her strong suit. She's very much more realism when it comes to clothes so I'm not blaming her I'm blaming the team <laughs> for letting it for letting it get made because I mean for one the color again is crazy ugly just ugh. and her skirt does not match again and just this weird big pink plastic pieces are super weird her hair is okay the pigtails is a nice nod but I'd still like her to have the pig ears like everyone else. The mask, just, no. The color layering is just so unnerving, and I know why. It's that top layer of white, and then that strong line of pink. It just doesn't work. Like, it's just, it's unnerving. Like, most of, like, most of everyone's masks look like they're Kwame's faces. So, I'm not sure what they were thinking because I mean the concept art is kind of meh. They all look like spacesuits and the only one I think works is the pink and black one only because the colors look better and the mask isn't like that weird three 
layer color. I just, I can't with the three layer color. I'm sorry. <laughs> So for my redesign of Pigella, I completely changed the whole thing. Normally, I try to highlight or advance what the show has given me, but this time, I'm starting from scratch. <laughs> for one, I added pig ears. I still kept the pigtails, but I added more curl to them. Plus, it helps hide her identity better. And I changed her bangs to her concept bangs, while also making her hair a blush color. Uh, I also changed her mask to look more like her Kwamis, see right here, but added a bit more frill, you know, it's, it's not symmetric like everybody else's. I wanted it to be a bit more unique in terms of design. <laughs> I added a bit more frill in simple lines, you know, versus this like swirl pattern that she's got going on. Because, I mean, my whole theme for this was more magical magical girl than this, like, ballerina look that her OG suit was trying to reference. <laughs> and instead of black, I used a more rosy brown color to balance the pink. Because, like, pink and white blend too much with each other. I know it doesn't seem like they would do that, but they do. Like, pastel pinks and white blend so much, it's so hard to see them separated so it's best to use a darker color with pink or like more darker toned pinks with lighter pinks if any of that makes sense <laughs> uh the one thing i took from the concept art of her suit is the pig shaped crest on her chest and made it into a pin bow to to really show she's pig themed since the suits represent the holder's personality I really feel Rose would be a bit more over the top and girly due to her personality and childlike nature. So like, you know, more ribbony style and more fluff and, you know, doll-like appearance would be her style. And that's kind of what I tried to incorporate with the bow and like the see-through little skirt she's got, you know. Uh, as for the pearls... I really just wanted to incorporate the Miraculous more. It's so small and not very noticeable, so I wanted to make sure it was still a, a part of the outfit in another way. And yeah, I added glitter. I couldn't help it. I love glitter, <laughs> and I feel Rose does too. Because <laughs> I even think, like, it's so hard to see in the show because the lighting is really dark, but I think Rose's OG super suit does have, like, a shimmer effect on the suit, so... It wouldn't be, you know, it, it wouldn't be off the mark that, you know, Rose likes glitter, so. <laughs> also, I did change Rose's weapon to look more pig, since her weapon kind of looks like something from Zelda. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have. I'm so sorry this video took a long time, and I'm going super fast, but I... I really wanted to show you guys because this is super exciting for me to do because Pigella's outfit has been the one thing that I'm just, like, been not happy about ever since it was released and I've been itching to do something so I just I'm so I'm like vibrating I want to show you guys what it looks like so bad and I am but I'm just jazzed to show you uh <laughs> but anyway I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did and for next week's video I'll be redesigning hawk moth slash shadow moth <laughs> so get excited uh but anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!